Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a new one for me again. So these are all shoe boxes. And the thing that's in common with all of these is that I have not worn any of these yet. I've pretty much featured all of these videos at some point. I think there may be two or three that I haven't. And they're kind of in chronological order from left to right where the ones on the left are the oldest and the ones on the right are the newest acquisitions so you can see on the bottom right those are the burberry low top trainers from the february capsule collection i'm just going to show you one by one this is a old louis vuitton box this is still in the brown color And these are the high tops from the, I think they were called the Victory. So they carried this motif on a few items. And these, yeah, these are pretty old. And for some reason, I just never wore them because I was afraid of ruining them because I really like this patch. And they discontinued it from, I think, what I've seen. They do come with additional shoelaces, which are the matching colors of this kind of maroon. So the extra shoelaces that it comes with matches the color of the suede. And I don't know if you've experienced this before because I've kept this in storage for a few years now. It looks like some of the red bled into the white shoelaces. So I don't know if that's normal or what. And then these have a zipper on the side which help you get in and out of these shoes much quicker without having to undo your shoelaces. And they look like they're slightly padded in the back. It's leather in the back. From the date code, which you can kind of see here, it's always a little hard. I believe this is using the new system. So these are from 2014. And I think they're produced near the early, of the year, early end of the year. So I think these might be fall, winter 2014. I'm not 100% sure. So these are the first pair. This is the second pair, and I know I didn't make a video of this one. These are pretty special. I think these are a collaboration between two brands, and OAMC being the main one, and these are made in France. Part of the reason why I got these. These are like derbies, and they are in gray suede. There's a white smooth leather strap in front. And then there's a neon yellow patch in the back. And then there's some neon yellow stitch detail in this part as well. And the sole is a rubber sole. These also come with an additional pair of shoelaces, but they're the same exact color and style as the one that's already on the shoes. This is the next pair from O'Keefe. The funny thing with this pair, it actually comes with a shoe tree, which I actually use, but the pair of shoes themselves I have not worn. And they're packaged up. So these are loafers in a navy blue suede. It has a tassel pattern here with contrast white stitching. And the sole is a stacked wooden sole. I believe it's, or it feels like wood, but actually it might, it's probably just leather. So this is made in Italy, size six, a UK sizing. So this is a seven US, which is my regular size. And there's no smell in these videos, but these, I mean, all three shoes so far, they still smell like fresh leather. So that's the third pair. Here is the fourth pair. It's from Gucci. This, these are one of the first shoes that I've got from them. So again, still in the plastic packaging. These were the boots that had this metal tiger head pattern on them. 
These were at the time the most expensive boots I got. I still remember these are $14.95 for these. But these have really cool detailing. It actually has, it's technically leather sole, but then they've added two rubber patches. And then in the back, you have the bee stitching detail, as well as these like wing, wing tip pattern that you normally see on wing tip shoes. Except, like I said, this is a boot. And it does have a zipper on the side to help you get in and out without having to undo all of the laces. These come with extra laces and they're in a contrasting color. They're in red. These were from fall winter 2016, I think. And they were heavily featured in the campaigns. So here are both of the, this is the pair, the left and the right. You can see with the white laces on. All of these shoes I've tried on to make sure they fit, but of course the common thing is that I haven't actually worn them outside yet. So you'll see when I show you all the soles that they're all still in new pristine condition. These shoes, these are my only Balenciaga shoes. I featured them in a few videos for try on outfits, but again, I haven't actually worn them out yet. So these are the speed trainers. These are the sock knits. And I got these pretty close to when they first came out before they did a huge price increase. When I got these, these were $5.95 and the race runners were $6.95. Now these are $7.50. And for these, like in the video that I did of these, I did size down because it is stretchy. It's just more secure on my foot when I walk. So for me, it just worked out better to size down. Since this came out, they've come out with different colors and pattern variations. And I think they're kind of discontinuing the all white sole, which was the main reason why I haven't worn these out yet because I have seen these on a few people in my town. And when they walk, the bottom is really dirty because I mean, it's white. So I just really didn't like that look so I haven't actually worn them out yet. I'm contemplating maybe exchanging these for the newer pair, which have, they're still white, but then the actual bottom is black. So I might try those on next, and if I do, I'll, I'll definitely be doing a comparison video. So this is the fifth pair. These are my only pair of Fendi shoes. I think these were from fall, I mean, uh, spring, summer 2017, I think. These are like the sandal slash low top trainers. So they're leather, but then they have these cutouts. And these were featured on the runway. I just thought they really look cool and casual and a real kind of athletic way to wear sandals. And you could wear different color socks or socks with patterns on them to make this look like a brand new shoe as well. And they actually do have a version where the sock is connected to it. It's, so it's like a hybrid of the Balenciagas that I just showed you, but with a leather exterior. But this version does not come with the knit, so it's just the leather with the cutouts. It has the face in the back, which is very Fendi. These also come with additional laces, but they're the same exact style and color as the ones that are already on the shoes. So here are the shoes. And I usually try to keep the stuffing in them just so that when they're in the box, the leather doesn't collapse on themselves. It's usually not a huge problem for shoes because the leather's not soft, like as soft as bags. But I, if I have it, I'll just probably put them in, especially I'm not gonna wear them. I want it to maintain its shape. But I am planning on wearing these out this summer. So these should get, these should be getting some use and you'll see them on my Instagram page when I do wear them out. Here is another pair of my only Loewe Vey shoes. Here are the low tops. This is the original color. On these, it's the white leather with gray suede and like a natural, I think they call it like a natural gum sole color. And it has Loewe V on the bottom with like a waffle pattern. 
I ended up picking these up. I was afraid they were going to discontinue it. And I've been looking at it. Before I purchased this, I've been looking at it for over a year. And then I almost got them when I had a trip to Paris, but I didn't. And then I did end up picking these up. I just think these are pretty clean. I like the color combination and I do like low tops and they look really well made. And these are not as expensive as Louis Vuitton or Gucci sneakers. So I thought they were pretty reasonably priced. I think these are made in Spain. A lot of Louis Vuitton products are made in Spain because that's where it's founded. But actually these are made in Italy. So here are the shoes once again just by themselves. These kind of look similar to the Todd's that I'm wearing right now, which I have posted a few pictures and stories on my Instagram. And that's probably a reason why I haven't really worn these. The soles are different, but they kind of have the same white and gray leather. So look out for these on my Instagram stories and my posts. So another only item, these are my only pair of Hermes shoes, although technically these are sandals, still footwear. And these I posted in my Paris haul. This is my most recent trip. These are the Izmir sandals in electric blue color. And these one I sized up half a size. But I found out that the leather can stretch. So it might be, it might feel like it's actually half size large as I wear these. But as you can see, I have not worn them yet. I got them in the fall last year so there, I haven't really had a chance to wear these out. I do plan on wearing these out this summer though so again I definitely will be posting them on Instagram when I do and maybe I'll do some updated like try on videos when I pair these with outfits and that's that's a type of video that I'm planning to do next is just some styling ideas with items that I already have because it's not really sustainable for me to do like new unboxings every single week. And I have so many luxury items already that I think it'll be interesting to see how I mix older items with newer items and just give you a new perspective. These are like a limited edition item. I have made a couple of videos of these. So again, if you've been following my channel, you know what these are. This isn't really like an unboxing video. The one thing though that still kind of annoys me is how kind of flimsy the packaging is because these were like a thousand dollars. So these are the Hender Scheme collaboration with Adidas and these are the NMDs in this like natural untanned leather. And this, this part is like a, some sort of rubber composite but then the bottom, this part is leather. And it can be replaced. This is actually a pretty standard way, I guess, to do leather sole. So you, I heard that you can bring this to a cobbler and they can replace this bottom part. And these are handmade in Japan. And these come with like a leather keeper for you to put in after you wear them. And they have Japanese writing in the back. I actually haven't brought these out for a while until now for doing this video but these I still really love them but these are really delicate because when you because these are untreated leather when exposed to air it's going to change color and if there's any moisture it's also going to change colors basically like the Vachetta or Riquetta leather on Louis Vuitton bags it's that natural color that's been untreated and untanned. I still want to keep it pristine. Here are the shoes by themselves. And I'll link to my more detailed videos in the description if you do want to see more details of these videos because the ones that I have videos on, I believe I've tried them on. So you can get a sense of what they look like if you are interested in any of these shoes that I show. Here are another pair of Gucci's that I have not worn. So these are the Marmot logo with the web stripe Princetown slippers. This is the newer version where they discontinued the kangaroo fur. So this is the lamb's fur. These I've done a few videos on comparing it with the kangaroo fur. I like the look of the old logo, which is why I got it. And I like the traditional web stripe with it. 
but I just, again, just haven't found an opportunity to wear these out. I don't think it makes sense wearing out in the winter because this fur is going to get pretty dirty with the snow and dirt on the street. So this is another maybe spring item. This item I did not make a detailed video on. I only got it a few months ago from Santoni. These are monk straps or double monk straps, but these are pretty low profile. And they're in a, they're in a blue ombre kind of color. So it's darker at the toe and then it gets lighter in the body. And these are made in Italy. So I just kind of like the really casual look of it. What I really like about these is that even though these are monk strap, you don't have to undo this in order to wear them. I have two other monk straps where you do have to undo them, so it's not as easy. This is just kind of decorative, but I, I really like the way it complements the look of these shoes. So these are technically loafers because you can slide in and out of them, but it's they're stylized like monk straps. I think I will be wearing these out hopefully soon because I do really like the look of it. Just again, just haven't really got a chance to break these in because I have two other monk straps already. The next two pairs, I'm just gonna go over super quickly because they're pretty recent. And I already have videos, pretty detailed videos on them already. These are another pair of Princetown slippers. These were the ones I recently got to replace the other Donald Duck that I had. Just like this a lot better because it has a tiger crystal on the front. And then it has this kind of the postal striping pattern. And in this lot of shoes, these are the most expensive pair. These were $17.50, I believe, something around that. And these come with special edition packaging, which is really neat. So it's not the white, the black and white Gucci packaging, but it's the, this kind of neon green color. And then it has the eyes on the box. And then this was the latest one, which I just posted just a couple of weeks ago, I think. So these were the Rainbow Stripe Vintage Czech Burberry Low Tops. This is from their February Capsule Collection. Again, these are being white soles. I'm probably gonna be a little hesitant to wear them, but I do really like the look of these. So I think I will bring these out in the spring season, spring and summer. I think it'll be really nice. And that is my video. So I have all, this is 13 pairs of the shoes I feature in this video laid out on my couch. So with all these I haven't worn yet, I do plan to wear some of these in the next spring summer season because I got them during last fall. So I didn't get a chance to wear them. Some of these though I've gotten for more than a year and maybe I either forgot about them or I just didn't find a good opportunity to wear them like the two slides. One of them I did get recently, but those are a little harder to wear. And I kind of jumped the gun on it a little bit because I like the style of it, but I just haven't had the opportunity to wear them. And thank you for watching. Let me know if you have a favorite pair, be interested to know. And if you have a similar issue that I have and how you manage it, because I'm already looking at a few new pair of shoes that I want. And there's already one pre-order that I put in. Not sure if I'm gonna get it, but you'll find out, of course. I'll, I'll post it on YouTube and Instagram if I do. So if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe so you know when the latest video is going to be up. And check me out on Instagram for the latest updates as well and exclusive content that I don't post on my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.